Hey everybody, Ophelos here. Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we bashed in Bana, who was the real kingpin behind the, the drug trade. And this time, well, this is the last side quest video, but the side quest that's going to be done is so important. I'm going to say this is a story episode. Simply put, they put a lot of time and effort into this into the side quest. So, in order to trigger this final side quest, the location we need to go to is out here. Towards the gate, because, well, we haven't quite been out here long, for a long time, and, um, I'm sure there's going to be something of interest down here, right? Well, yeah, Dragon, there will be something of interest. So, upon heading back to, heading to the entrance of the gate, there appears to be something laying there. So, we have... Melancholy Tyrea. Treat Melancholy Carry Tyrea to Junks for medical treatment. Who's this? Ain't she the one who attacked us in the capital? <sighs> you. you. Tyrea! What are you doing here? You're hurt. Do not touch me, vile girl! Watch it! Oh! Oh! Tyrea, what happened? Is she dead? No. It looks like she just passed out. Let's get her to the infirmary. Ryan! Come on, why me? Please. Is she okay? Her injuries aren't severe. When the Bionis awoke, the ether flow around the colony became unstable. Maybe that's why she lost consciousness. No, that's not what I meant. You mean, why didn't she become a Telethia? Precisely. For pure-blooded High Entia to become Telethia, the ether energy surrounding the Bionis has to be above a certain level. Luckily, the level of ether energy here is not as high as on the upper regions of Bionis. Maybe what kept her safe. Or perhaps. Perhaps what? No. It's nothing. Something about this makes me feel uneasy. I know what you mean. We'll have to keep an eye on her recovery. Why does she hate you so much, Melia? You're both high end here. Is being pure blooded really that important? Tyrea's birth mother is most likely my stepmother. You don't mean Eumea? Yes. I heard about it from Callion after I returned from the tomb. Mother was the leader of the Inquisitors, a secretive organization operating in the shadows of the Imperial household. The group plotted to maintain the Imperial bloodline through a clandestine ritual. A ritual where Tyrea was conceived. And she was secretly raised as an Inquisitor assassin. Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Callian's half-sister? That's right. Then isn't she in the same position as you? Mm-hmm. That is correct. Tyrea! You're awake! <sighs> I had more right to the throne than she ever did. Were it not for the consort system that has so polluted the pride of our people, it would have been me, a pure-blooded High Entia, who would build the future of our people. But you... You are a hypocrite. Just like me. If we are honest, what is the difference? You too would take the lives of your own people to protect your bloodline. Melia, you too are nothing but an assassin. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm... I don't buy that for a second. Ryan! Pride of your people? How about you're jealous of Melia? <laughs> Do you really think I would be jealous of her? Ain't ya? You're envious of her, right? Of how she lives her life. You just want everyone to feel sorry for you, for being in the shadows all your life. How dare you? No Hom speaks to me like that. I'm saying that you'll never have a life like Melia's. 
You don't have the faintest idea why Melia has been fighting. Even if you'd been born in her place, the Emperor still would have chosen her as his successor. Succeeding the Imperial line ain't all about blood. It's about taking on the will to do whatever it takes for your land, for your people, when the time comes. That's what makes Melia different from you. How dare you? Both of you, stop this! This is no time for pointless bickering. He's right. We survivors shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right, time's up. I want the room cleared out. Yeah, okay. And you. You need to calm down and get some rest. Ugh. My people. <gasps> what is that? What's going on? Look! Over there! The colony! Telethia! Guys! She's gone! Tyrea, you mean? Could that Telethia be her? No. At least, I'm fairly certain. What? There's no time now. We must pursue it. Pursue it, we shall. So if we go to the quest log, this will be kind of vague where we need to go. For Melancholy Tyria, look for look for Mysterious Telethia in the same spot as a past Telethia battle in Magna Forest. Well, um, if we go to our area map, so we go to Magna Forest, there's two areas we know that there is a, uh, where we fought Telethia. The first area is back here in the Decayed Forest. Well, um, there is a new monster here. Yeah, there's two new unique monsters that are roaming around here. A flying type monster that's level 97, 98-ish, one of those two levels, and a level 99 Ty Tyrannosaurus that's running around through here that has a topple spike. No, 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 it's like a spike that uses Topo. There we go. Instead, the area we need to go to is right down here, before heading out to Lakeside. I'd recommend you have yourself Talent Art, your uh, shield, up to level 9 for this. Let's go head out. It must be Tyrea after all. What do we do? Do we have to fight her? There's no time to think about it. Ready yourselves! Alright then. So, we have Mysterious Telethia. Can we please get Agra off me? Thank you. So, Mysterious Telethia is going to spawn here. It is a powerful boss battle. This battle, um, healing up is going to be important. So, Mysterious Telethia is pretty powerful. He hits hard and, and has a lot of art. This is Talon Absorb, which, well, does stuff, but one important thing you want to do is keep it toppled. That's one good thing you can do here. Topple it, keep it down. So, we're getting there to a uh, full setup. Dunman, as long as he continues the uh, gathering aggro, that should be fine. We're almost there to another topple, which is going to be good, and a chain attack. So, 
is going to be using Ultimate Cannon 9. That's going to hurt. Thankfully, we have a lot in cooldown. So let's use Mind Blast. Resist Art Seal. Okay, so, um... How much did it feel that crap? There we go. So it should be down pretty soon. Let's continue bashing away at it. It hits hard. It has a lot of talent art to it. Ultimate Cannon 9, but we got Chain Attack Chance Time ready to go. So let's start things out by doing the uh, toppling. Or on second thought, let's go ahead and go for another Ultima. But we got Chain Attack Chance Time ready to go. Um. Yeah, let's do this. And next step, Dunvan, um, Worldly Slash. Alright, I was hoping for more. Okay, um, so, are you gonna actually do, do any shielding? Nope, looks like I gotta do things myself. Well, we're getting all the, uh, Birds of Fanny, yep. Is another ultimate cannon down. So as long as you continue putting up your shield, continue to deal some damage, you should be fine. Tyrea isn't too bad. As long as you keep on doing your arts, you should be fine. Another ultima cannon. Wow, you love your ultimas. Not sure why not, mate. Um, dazed. Okay, that works out perfectly. And another art. Okay. So, gonna use Sleep Bullet next. As name I induce, it's gonna do Sleep. But we got Chain Attack ready to go. Next up. Sure, why not? And. Continuing on the strategy, not too bad. We're continuing on it. We're, we're going to go get our things set up. Okay, we got Mind Blast ready to go. And I'm going to do a sleep. Okay. Sorry my commentary has, hasn't been the best. It's been mostly a... Uh, he's going to do this, he's going to do this, he's going to do this. Just waiting for her to get... Get stuff set up. Okay, Shulk. You know the drill. Deal things up. Yeah, if we don't have the unchanging fu changing future achievement right now, I don't know how we're going to get it. We're just continuing getting the things. But, he's almost done. Shulk. I must. I know. Stop! Tyrea! You're safe! You do realize that Telethia is Eumea. Eumea? <gasps> I was pursuing Eumea. Even though she knew it was her fate to transform, she remained faithful to the Bionis. But why? Didn't she feel betrayed? Everyone has their own beliefs, and what they believe is their own choice. Yamea adhered to her path. I pursued her so that I could fulfill her final wish. Her final wish? Yamea was imprisoned within the Tower of Investigation. She told me that after she transformed into a Telethia, I was to destroy her as quickly as possible. She wished to sacrifice herself to the Bionis. At least, that is what I believed at first. But I now understand Yumea's true desire. That is why I must... This is my responsibility. Melia, why? 
father entrusted me with the Empire and its people. What I believe in is the will of those struggling to survive. I have to fight if I am to convey this to the next generation. Besides, Umea is your birth mother. There is no need for you to carry out such an unpleasant task. Is the same not true of you? You may not be of her blood, but you still think of her as your... This is a duty that my father and brother conferred upon me. Melia. Tyrea, I believe you and I are alike. Alike? Never, vile girl. My gratitude for assisting you, Maya. I mean, mother. Tyrea. Well, there she goes. Is she going to be okay on her own? She'll be all right. We and Tyrea share the same goal. Our paths are sure to meet again. Yeah, you're right. Melia, what did you mean just now? When you said you and Tyrea are alike? Tyrea must be half harmless, just like me. What? But the wings on her head! Not all half-blooded Hyentia have small wings, only the majority. Some are indistinguishable from pure-blooded Hyentia. Dominant and recessive inheritance. I've studied this. So that's why. Melia, do you think you may have knew this would happen? Perhaps. Actually, she had to have known. At least, that's what I believe. She was her mother, after all. She must have been aware. Yes. And with that, we've completed Melancholy Tyrea. From this, we get ourselves the Emperor Staff, Auto Attack Stealth 6. Cool. And a healthy amount of experience on top of that, too. Nice. So with that, we get ourselves Melia's new weapon. I consider it the uh, Imperial Staff V2. The Empress Staff. It's pretty darn good actually. What it is, it has Electric Plus 6, HP up 6, and Unbeatable 4. Electric Plus... Yeah, this is some very good stuff. Considering the fact that she's frail, this is a major help to Melia. I mean, sure, it's not as good as this one, Electric Plus... I mean, it's all your opinion, but Empress Staff, in terms of unique, I consider to be Melia's ultimate weapon. Asterix says, like, there's some better weapons, technically, but considering what it's worth, I think that's probably her best weapon yet. So with that, we have done every single side quest I want to do before heading out. Any other side quests will be saved until after we finish our, after we finish the journey. Because, well... Exp well, not quite expiration dates, mostly, um, want to keep things consistent because I don't want to cream the final boss. So, I guess with that all done, we've done everything we can possibly do. We've prepared ourselves to the best we possibly can. And, we are ready to head out. So, might I just say, next time in Xenoblade Chronicles. Sis, you may as mate. I was one responsible for Lady May is nearing her in incarceration. I, her maid, sat with her in the Tower of Investigation. I will never forget that night, the eve of the Bionis Awakening, where I heard a story that deeply affected me. Apparently, Lady Tyre was conceived at a clandestine ritual. Such rituals were customary to protect pure, pure Hyantia. It was not known at the time, but her father was half Homs. Yes, can you believe it? She was of mixed lineage. And when this was discovered, he was thrown out of their order. 
He, he has not been seen since. However, there is more. It is customary to remove the child from the Imperial line. However, Yumea, despite her duty to the Order, gave birth to Tyrea. And even now, it is not clear why Yumea dared to defy the Order. Straight after the Bionis awoke, Tyrea visited her mother. The two of them sat, and Yumea told her the story I, t I tell you now. On that dreaded night, Yumea poured her heart into her child. I believe that I witnessed Yumea's dying words of love to Tyrea. Kind of a sad ending. I forgot that was there, to be honest, okay? I don't remember everything, so, might I just say, next time in Xenoblade Chronicles, we head into the Bionis. I will see you guys then.